hi guys and welcome back to my channel those who are new guys and you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below like share and comment on this video it's another fabulous day here with the crave cook and guys are you in for a treat today we will be making pizza rustica this is a this is an italian easter pie it's basically a meat filled quiche so without further ado let's jump right into it so first we're going to make our pastry crust so to my food processor i'll be adding some flour and the list of the ingredients will also be in the description box along with the measurements so now i'm adding some salt and a little bit of sugar i will give this about 10 seconds of pulsing 10 seconds of pulsing to mix the salt the sugar and everything up together with the flour now we go in with our butter and let's make sure our butter is really chilled because we are looking for a rich scrumptious flaky dough all right we would pulse this until it actually resembles fine bread crumbs awesome and this looks amazing exactly the texture we are looking for so to this we will add one egg yolk and some cold or chilled water as i mentioned the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box also looks awesome so now what we will do is pour that into a bowl now we will form this mixture into a nice ball make sure to get everything if you realize your mixture is just a little bit tight before you form this ball guys you can add just a little bit of chilled water or cold water that looks amazing we're going to wrap this in saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator for about 15 to 30 minutes so now guys we are about to make our filling we have some ricotta cheese drain and this is to actually remove all the excess moisture five eggs some pepperoni some sausage bacon and some cheeses here i also have onion powder black pepper chives so to a hot pan i just added about one teaspoon of oil and i'll bring these sausages up just a, just a little bit place that in a paper towel remove all the excess oil and now it's time for the fun part guys we will be using the ricotta cheese i know lots of people do not like ricotta because it's it doesn't have any kind of taste but it's a really blank a really good blank canvas to actually start a bill flavors on so i just added some mozzarella some parmigiana and now i'm going in with some smoked gouda and we will mix this together and do not worry about over mixing this is just fine we're actually building the flavors here for our delicious pizza rustica i'm adding some kobe jack we will mix well and guys also make sure to taste your filling because everyone's palate is very different so make sure to taste it and the cheese is just right make sure to use low sodium uh, cheeses because of the salt from the meat you don't want to over salt your dish so here i'll be adding some onion powder and black pepper as you can see i'm tasting to make sure my filling is just right and i'm adding some chives here you can add some fresh parsley if you have that at hand you know you can just make this your own so now we will go in with our sausages and i'm using smoked beef sausage now you can choose here to add whatever kind of meat you like okay now we go in with our bacon and we will mix this well make sure everything is nice and combined guys and believe me anyone can actually make this it is so easy so so easy and simple something that is so delicious all right so now we'll go in with our eggs we will beat this egg i did add a little bit of black pepper and onion powder to my egg as well and now we'll add that a little bit at a time and mix everything in well our filling is looking amazing the reason I told you to taste before because at this point with all the eggs uh, I don't think you want to taste it here <laughs> okay 
Now we'll let this sit until we prepare our pie dish. So this is what I'm using. Guys, if you do have a spring form pan, please use that. Now after 15 minutes, my dough is ready. I try to get it as perfect as I can. And we'll place this in our, in our pie dish. And at this time, I wish I had a spring form pan but that's okay, I use what I had at the moment. But if you guys do have that, please use that. Okay, it is actually recommended. So now we will add the filling into that dish. Amazing. This is a wonderful dish for brunch or breakfast. It is very, very delicious. So now I'll be placing my, my pepperoni and I'm using turkey pepperoni. You can use regular pepperoni, and as I mentioned, any meat of your choice. Okay, you can just make this your own. We will sprinkle a little bit more cheese right on top. Now we will do the same for the top. We will roll the dough onto the top of the pie. Remove all excess edges, and then we will crimp, fold and crimp that in. Guys, don't worry if it's not perfect, that's okay. Then we will get some egg wash and brush right over the top. And the trick to this, guys, let me just tell you, you can get a piece of parchment paper and before you place this in the oven, Place the parchment uh, paper right over the top so the edges will not burn. And this is what it looks like after 55 to 60 minutes. Absolutely amazing. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> guys, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. Like, please also share this video, all right? Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. You guys enjoy. Bye-bye.